We'll come over one to the exercise number 6a, which has the title of classifying features by standard methods. And uh, therefore, I've already loaded the project 6a. And as you can see, here are the fifth five maps we have created earlier in the prior videos. And what is new is the population map over here. So it is checked, and we will go into the data view. So what is the purpose in that? We would like to create a map of population and we would like to differentiate or yeah, differentiate the countries by their mm, population. So just ha let's first have a look and th this is very common to first have a look and open in the attribute table to get an overview of the information which is available in this shapefile. So here we are, with there are the names, the kilometers, I don't know exactly what that means. And then there is a population in 1998, and population in 1994, and population in the year 2000. Then you have some kind of um, percentages up to 14 years and from 15 to 64 years. And you will have an um, attribute called population 1980 and so on. So this is not uh, sorted but um, you will get well, you will figure it out. So first of all we now or we know how to differentiate by differentiate by um, by categories but now we have some kind of of numeric feature we would like to present in colors so in forms of intensity. In the last video we have created um, a raster and we have uh, attributed high values of this raster of the raster cells with dark colors and low values with light colors or other way, no other way around sorry for that so we will go into the symbology tab and we would like to recreate that for polygons in our case so there is still the possibilities of categories and also of quantities here you can differentiate in, in f terms of graduated colors so the color is or the color scheme is or the color of a polygon is formed by a value and you have the gradient symbols which is quite common for point layer shape files and not for polygons you can use it for polygons as well it's not the case so there's a template here and there's a background for the polygon itself that means the higher the values the bigger the uh, symbol gets then you have the proportional symbols, which is um, some kind of increased information because the symbol size is proportional to the unit behind that. So if the value is increasing by 10, the symbol size will increase in 10 as in tens as well. So and you will have the dot density, which is um, a little bit tricky because. Let's say there's a there's a country with uh, with more people than another country with less people, and in this country with the more people, like Egypt, uh, compared to I don't know, well Libya, um, there will be points drawn according to their population, and um, the points were drawn at random at random locations in that shape file. We will create something like that afterwards. I would first like you to uh, use this graded color. So we have a value and this in our case population in the year 2000. You have the color ramp. It goes from green low population values up to red and high population values. We will go into detail in the classification but uh, first of all I'll just press OK. You can see that we have five class classes um, going from the minimum value of 290,000 something like that up to the highest value of 161 million people I think is it correct let's figure it out yeah and which is Nigeria so you can identify it as well one is red here there you have it Nigeria 161 million 75,000. So, um, what you can see in that map is that there's that there are um, quite big differences in population values around the um, African continent. 
So let's go back into the dialog we have created or we have used for the population. Um, you can also choose this um, choose um, color scheme that is just one colored, like going from light blue to dark blue, which is more common for maybe for something like precipitation values or something like that. And um, of course, you can use every color scheme you would like, but you 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 have to keep in mind what is the what is the in in, in um, what is the uh, purpose of your of your color scheme. Uh, so normally you would like to uh, communicate your inf your your values uh, quite good. So choose a good looking color ramp. Um, other other um, other thing. Let's go here into that tab, which is called classification, and we uh, the normal classification scheme is called natural breaks. Um, it was developed by a guy or ca cartographer called George uh, George Yanks, and we will go into classify here. And what you can now adjust is the method of classification, the number of classes, and the columns. So in this case, the columns means each column has one percent of um, the range in the x-axis. If you will create it like this, then you will have four percent, but we will stay with a one hundred percent, or with a one percent serve for that. Then now you have uh, the class break values over here. So the first break value is has this population value, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So and the fifth is the biggest or the maximum value. So we'll just uh, go through the methods. Here you have the manual mode. Of course, you can easily uh, create a new class break values over here. So you can insert a break as well change its location and it will be uh, drawn here so we will but what we'll do now is we will delete this break as well the, this is a manual mode so you cannot check the classes because you will create each time a new break create that or uh, delete that as well then you have the equal intervals which means that the intervals between them is always the same. So the uh, difference from that class to that class is the same as this to this class. Now we have the defined interval. You can define the interval size by uh, saying, okay, I would like to create every 1 million a class. So we have now 162 classes, which is, well, it's too much, I think. You can also say, well, let's go with 10,000 which gives you a differentiation into 70 classes. Well, just check it out. What will happen? There's a finer um, finer differentiation possible uh, regarding the uh, the class values. But let's go back to the uh, classification option. Then you have here the quantiles, which means that in this class are the same numbers of um, countries as in this class. You can see the uh, numbers, so this column here is one country, this column here is three, col three countries, and this con uh, co column here is two countries. Um, yeah, rearrange the quantile, uh, the number of classes maybe to seven. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, well, you see the differences here in this uh, the Nigeria with the highest amount of uh, with the highest number of pop population the highest value in population has the same color as, co as, as the Congo and the same color as South Africa so you cannot differentiate between them anymore uh, just by looking on the on the colors so let's go back to the classification then you have the uh, already used natural breaks method with is, uh, with which is uh, the common one in ArcGIS. Now you have geometrical intervals. Seems fine, but not that good. Let's check whether this is just one uh, country. No, still three countries here uh, listed in that class with the highest um, um, value. And then you have the standard deviation, which means here in this class are uh, well, 
25% or something like that so you can differentiate between them but we will stick with the natural breaks, meth breaks method but we will increase the numbers of classes because the more class you will get the better you can differentiate between them um, no you 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 uh -huh. You will throw a lot of information if you will just use two classes or three classes, but uh, they are good to they are good to differentiate. But if you use uh, more classes or too much classes, like thirty five or something like that, you cannot differentiate the colors anymore. So uh, you should stick with I think seven classes or something like that. So just go with that, and we will also create or recreate a color rim or reuse another color rim for that. Going from green to um, green to red. Where is it? There it is. So we have the green colors for low um, population values and red color for high population values. There it is. We got a nice idea about the population um, in each country. So one more thing is you would like to maybe create something like um, decimal separator. So let's go to format labels and say show thousand separators to get a better idea about whether it is 160 million or 16 million that's it so let's go back to the uh, layout view there it is quite an easy and nice looking interpretation of your uh, population densities what we will do now is we will just have a look on the on the dotted possibilities to uh, which I've promised you there you can see the differences dot density let's say one more thing once again the population density so you can here see that um, each dot represents well say 1000 1 million people you can adjust this to less people or to more people we will stick with the 1 million 1000 1 million just to give you an insight okay let's say it like this so each each point is now um equally or equals 1 million inhabitants so uh, but the location of the points is chosen randomly so once again we'll go here and say we'll uh, take this to 50,000 no. he's not using that so something like this here we go so it's 51,000 and as you can see Nigeria still has this, uh, has the biggest number of points um, but um, yeah the, in the interpretation of the points is more looking into where are cities or something like that and in Namibia there aren't cities in that location so you should stick with the uh, with the um, graded colors method to get an idea about the population um, values in uh, Africa. Now I've chosen eight country, uh, eight uh, classes using format labels again. Okay, here we go. So a good-looking representation of your population values. We will go along with exercise number six B once again. Thank you for looking and or for watching and i hope you enjoy it please press on some kind of advice uh, advertisement in the video if you would like to um, so i can earn some money with that thank you very much goodbye